Hello everyone. Uh, today's game is going to be off. It's a um, unique little game. I like it. I like the story behind it. And I thought since I'm going to be playing through it again anyway. Yes, I have played this before. It's been a while, but I have played it. I might as well make some videos on it. So, this is off. I hit new game. Assuming. There we go. New game. <clears throat> Maybe. In other words, we should have sound on, which we do. Unproductive fun time. And to name. Well, my name for this set will be... Lucida. Okay. Yes, that is my name. I am a girl. I've been assigned to the batter. Which is really good. Because batters hit things. Which is important in this game. Batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will drop you off at Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. Off. Okay, and this is Zone Zero, which is pretty much the tutorial of the zone. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Interact with the environment, use the space bar or enter. So we can move. Zone zero. There cannot be any other living beings in zone zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere product of my imagination. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name, dear illusory interlocu interlocutor. I am the batter. I have been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I addressed, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? Which is us. Her name is Sita. She can't talk to us. However, she can hear and see everything. Even though you, too, are nothing but a mirage in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Sita. I believe we are in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in an incessant manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service could I offer to an ecto ectoplasmic entity? I have a, s <coughs> a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area, if it is of any help to you. Thanks. Okay. These are chests where we can uh, find items. 
we can't get over here yet. This is a very important... This is one of those games that you have to have a paper around to write down things. Much things will be needing to be written down. So we need four, four, eight, two, eight, seven, zero. Okay. Up the ladder. Allow me to tell you that you are very tangible for a phantasmagorical being. Might you, in fact, be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I misled myself in error from the beginning. You did not even interrupt my deluded banter. This is a relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in the slough. I had, in fact, concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously, I was mistaken. However, there exist other zones where the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into those lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? It's a combat tutorial. Yes. Now, combat here is called purification. Which is kind of odd. This here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right hand of the side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left in single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will have be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage in the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make the strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. Finally, flee, as its name indicates, is the option of the coward. I dehort this alternative. But now it is time for the offense. Choose attack, select the batter, then choose attack new to off me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back, and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. Okay, so we attack. Batter. Attack. The judge. Excellent, dear compliant companion. You must consider that the impact of your assaults depends on the level of the batter and the enemy. It is possible that you or your adversary could avoid the barrage of attacks that will th that you will throw at each other with slyness. There is also the possibility that your cast iron will could get you a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. But let us move on, if you are willing to. You may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right-hand side of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise adversary. Soul adversary. And this is where I'm going to have to stop it for now. A short 10-minute video, sorry about that. But we will continue with the tutorial in the next video. Thank you for watching.